this is my review on one of my favorites, Moana, which is also my gun. That's better. It's not foggy fo fo anymore. My least favorite Disney musical. Well, I will all get to that. So I'm going to first tell you what the story is about, okay? In case of you, anyone who's never seen the film. Uh, basically, it's about this girl called Moana who lives in the land of the sexes towards women. Her father is a warrior, but he pulls a muscle and not fit for combat, but he goes to fight anyway, and he she takes her father's place and poses as her father and takes her father's place in a war that's been going on for centuries. Um... Um, and these friends that she mends up uh, with are absolute cases of dum dums, and uh, they want to fight to win a pretty girl. That's why they want to go to war. The chief, who it trains everyone to become total badasses. It's nothing like that. He, he just thinks that if you have a strong heart and strong muscle on strong inside and out and you have a ba key a balance of being what's right and wrong, you will be undefeatable. And this is all explained in a musical number. Song called I'll make a man out of you and let's be honest it's the only good song that's in it the rest are are bad just bad I mean they're forgettably bad not only they're off key they're also sexist completely towards women. Instead of treating women like human beings, they're trophies. <laughs> and this is a movie that's supposed to empower women, Miss Columbia. Don't you feel empowered? <laughs> <laughs> and, um... The best song, the only good song, is called I'll Make a Man Out of You, not I'll Wake a Woman Out of You. <laughs> because what the song's saying, it takes a man to do the job done. And even a woman can be a man. And this is playing when all the men are dressed up in dresses and the uh, team up was Mulan after kicking out of the tribe because they found out she was a woman. But when the time comes, when it comes down, when things get tough, they realize they really need her and she has more, which I liked about this, she has more balls than anyone on this tribe. Uh in this war. So we should have not we were jerks to kick her out. We we should like help we should like team up with Moana. I don't care if she's a girl. She's the man's man I have ever met. Which okay I like that. Um and I mean we couldn't like make another song like I'll make a woman out of you or Okay, maybe maybe that would be terrible, but uh, maybe that would be a terrible type. But you know, I mean, the song in part is, empowers men more than women. Uh, if you listen to the lyrics, uh, 
I mean, I like the, I love the song because it's a good song. But when you look at the content of the uh, film, it's kind of yeah, it sounds a little sexist, doesn't it? And it says, "You're a spineless butt, pathetic lot." So pack up your foo. How could I make a man out of you? And this is the chief singing this when he's saying all these things to Moana. I mean, Moan, <laughs> the main character. Granted, I'm not going to lie, the Resident Evil films did tremendous jobs in powering them, but. Like Wonder Woman has, uh, but they at least were consistent of what they were trying to do. What they were trying to do was a mindless action film. This is actually trying to give you actual more messages. At least I think that's what it is for both films and the Resident Evil franchise. I mean, now. <laughs> Now that being said, let's go back to the story. So Moana and her friends team up and dress up and dress as and save the day. And Moana saves the day and uh, announced a Queen of Prince is now knighted a prince. Cess. She's now doubted a princess. And the chief, she ends up falling in love with because he's handsome and strong. And the reason why he ends up falling in love with her because uh, The same thing. Except the sexes are the other way around. Because, <laughs> you know, something will always last forever is looks. You show that you don't, they show that you don't want to like, go on a date for us to see what else they have, what they have in common? It's an option. Well, at least they have finding as their, I guess, well, finding is their, and war, and being warriors is their, what they have in common. That's pretty thin, nice. Um... So they live happily ever after until the sequel when they continue the more one. I was going to say more one, but I said more one. Um. Um. The end. Oh, and this guy called Mushu is kind of an Eddie Murphy knockoff. He's probably played by him in this movie, not the second one though. Um. Was Moose one sidekick and got promoted for saving the world? I love this film.